Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas, and we're here today with the all-new Synchro Wave 212. Um, so in this today's video, we already did an overview video, and we'll link that down below. But in this video today, we're going to show you how to hook up the Spoolmate 150. So as, as I said in the first video, this thing will run a spool gun off of it. Um, so we got our spool gun out. I got it hooked up here uh, into the power pin, and then I got my trigger wire hooked up. But what I guys wanted to show you too, we're going to weld with this thing, and I want to show you how to put the wire in. That's one of our biggest questions that we always ask. But on the front of the machine, I'll show you guys the setup here. Go into the process, MIG spool gun. So you got all these processes that you can choose from. MIG spool gun, hit that. We go into setup. Got our wire, 035, and then we got our calibration. So we're going to have to give it a calibration here, but before we do that, I'm going to show you something here. We'll process. So then we'll do auto set. So we're going to go down to MIG. 4043 is what we got. Hobart 4043. We got eighth inch aluminum. And then we got, you can do, you know, outside corner T joint butt and lap. We got a lap joint. We're just going to say lap, but we're going to run a bead on plate. We got 035. And then it's going to give us our selections of what we made. We're going to say yes. It's going to give us recommended parameters. We're going to hit next. It's going to tell us what to set our argon at. And then he said, but it says before using spool gun, perform the calibration procedure. So I'm going to hit weld. We're going to go back to process. I'm going to set up. And we're going to go into calibration. And so what I'm going to do is you do a 24 inch test on it. What I'll do here, we've got to get the wire in first, and then I'll show you how to do that. So put that in. Now, got this wire out here. Show you my snip off just that end here. It's a little bit tricky, but it's not too bad. So this is what I like to do. I like to run that wire into the red straw, so to speak. If I can get it in there without, can't do it left-handed. Um, so you run that in there. And here's what I like to. So when it gets up to those wheels. We're going to push down on that. That's our tensioner. And we're going to give it a little shove so it kind of grip. Oh, it didn't grip it. I'm going to give it a little shove. There you go. So it kind of grips that wire. So when I push down on that, it tensions our drive roll. Then what I do is I just back up the spool. Make sure we're not kinking that wire. And just slip it down in there. So now we're all set there. Put the lid cover back on. All right. Then one other thing I like to do before I pull the trigger, what we're going to do, I got an 035 tip in, but there we go. So I like to pull this off. Now this is your nozzle diffuser, you can call it uh, gooseneck. So this just unthreads, and then I'll show you what's at the end of it. So inner liner, and then that's where the wire comes out. So what we'll do, feed a little bit out. It's just always easier, because what happens sometimes, and I'm not saying every time, but if you just leave that on there, and it happens to me quite a bit, if you leave that on there, it'll, it'll bird's nest because it, it hits that back end of that, that gun, and then, oh, then you're in a world of hurt. You gotta tear it all apart. We'll put this all back together here. We should be able to feed it right out of there. There we go. So now we got wire coming out. So we'll do the. So what the 24 inch test is, is basically um, you measure it. If you got 24 inches of wire, or it, it just it gives us like a good calibration of okay, the spool gun's now calibrated with the machine itself. Let's try the high. So, right there. So then what you would do is you'd measure that wire. If you got 24 inches, you're good. If not, the calibration adjustment, I believe, is on top. Or you can just calibrate it right here by upping it. Like, no, I was an inch short or I was a half inch short, that kind of thing. Or you were too long and you got to back it down an inch. Um, that's on the high end, on the low end, but we're going to be on the high end because we're above 200 inches a minute, so that's why I did the high end. And then it looks like we got 24 inches, so we're going to give this thing a shot. I'm going to get my helmet on, my welding gear. 
we're going to weld on some eighth-inch plate. So stay tuned for that here. All right, so we're going to do a little bead-on plate here. Um, so recommended, like, do I push or do I drag? I always tell people to push because you get better gas coverage, and then you won't have all that soot on there. Like, but you, you can drag it. I'm just today we're going to push. Um, got everything set up. And we're at 21 and a half volts, 400 inches a minute. So we're going to give it a shot here. down there with it not too bad at all um, got a little got a little soot on the edges that's pretty normal though um, as far as maybe we need a little more argon coverage or clean our piece of aluminum up but um, I'm a huge fan of spool guns when it comes to uh, I see a lot in trailer repair or back deck gates or ramps or anything like that that you you know if you can't TIG weld it or you don't want to TIG weld it because you got to you got a lot to do uh, spool guns where it's at they work great I've ran a lot of them on back tailgates on trailers and stuff like that and just crude and kind of simple but they work really really well and as you can see it laid down a pretty nice bead and that was on auto set so I didn't have to really adjust anything. Had a little bit of a cold start but I think if we would have added a little preheat to the aluminum it would have been fine um, and that's on 035 wire too so not bad at all. Um, awesome little gun. Pretty easy to set up as you can see. Uh, auto set makes everything great. But yeah, if you got any questions or comments, please leave them down below. We'll do our best to answer them. Thanks again for watching, and stay tuned for some more.